Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's a double one. It's for Erev Shavuos, that's the 7th day of June, and also for Easter Chag, the day after Shavuos, which is the 10th of June, and the reason I'll be traveling just right before and right after Shavuos, and I want to make sure you have your two laws. So here's your one to listen to for, uh, you know, Tuesday or Monday night uh, in preparation for Shavuos. First of all, when the Aseris Hadibros are read on the holiday of Shavuos, that's the Ten Commandments, a lot of people have the custom to stand for the Ten Commandments. A lot of people have the custom to stand always whenever the Torah is read and there actually is some controversy about whether it's appropriate to just uh, you know bang on the table and make an announcement and say all rise for the Ten Commandments because it gives the bad impression that one part of Torah is more important than the other and we never say such things we say that every letter of Torah is critically important and there's no such thing as saying eh sit for that part oh stand for this part and uh, well let the rabbi of the shul judge on how he wants it done some rabbis do have just a little bang on the bema that reminds everyone if you aren't already standing stand now some people will stand at the beginning of the aliyah so it's not apparent that they're just jumped up special for the ten commandments uh, i should just tell you interestingly that there are some people who had it as a custom to say the ten commandments right at the end of davening every day and other people felt that it was a bad idea because it kind of made people think like that was the main Torah and everything else was just extra. And we never like that impression that you pick and choose this is important that isn't. So follow the custom of your soul, of course. Uh, and you may want to consider the, the upper custom, which, you know, very adhering people try to do, which is they like to stand for all the Torah reading just to show that they really, really love the Torah uh, reading. Remember to start your Mar of late on the first night of Shavuos at least, on the second night too, you should do that. And that's because we like to show that it was seven complete weeks and we don't start Shavuos until all the seven weeks are over. And uh, remember that you don't have to have milchik meals, but it's a nice custom to have some milchik meals. Just a random little thought for you to know if you are having a milchik meal. Making a bread, a challah that is milchiks, or any loaf of bread that's milchiks, is problematic because you could get confused and have it with a fleshik meal, which would, of course, be improper. So if you're ever going to, uh, a lot of rabbis say never to make a, a dairy bread, Unless maybe there's some very clear marking like by its shape or something and you could tell that it's dairy. Okay, now here's your Friday halacha for the 10th of June. Here goes. You uh, are not saying Tachlan on this day, on this day, and that's because it's Isru Chag, the day after a holiday, but also because uh, some people won't say um, Tachlan now until the 12th of Nisan. I'm sorry. Of Sivan, and that's because this is like the makeup time for sacrifices that weren't brought on Shavuos. They are still brought in this following six days or so, and so some people won't say Tachlan. Also, depends on the custom of your shul. Some say it, some skip it just for Friday, the 10th of June, and some will skip it all the way until the 12th of Sivan. Um, remember that you always make a bracha on the learning of Torah. I think that's a nice uh, little halacha to follow after Shavuos. Always make a bracha on the learning of Torah every morning, once for the day. You still make a Another bracha when you get called up to an aliyah, even if you're called up to an aliyah moments after you just made the same bracha on your learning of Torah for the day. The rabbis instituted that you always make a bracha when you get called up for an aliyah, even if you're getting called up twice to an aliyah. You make a bracha each time you make the aliyah. That's the, rab the way the rabbis instituted the honor of the Torah reading by having a bracha before it, even if you just made the bracha on it in the morning for the Torah learning. One's for the Torah learning that you're going to do through the day, and one is a special customary one that we do whenever we're called up. Up to an Aliyah. Thanks for logging on and log on again after Shabbos for brand new laws. Bye bye.